Welcome back, folks. We are taking a ride on our new passenger train from Olaith to Midland. And look how many passengers there are waiting for it. It's insane. So let's go ahead and take a ride. Let's go, little train. There we go. But we have five trains on it now. I think the reason there are so many is because we only had one before. Oh, here comes a sister train. And look at Lubbock over there, towering up over nature. Well, and being dwarfed by the mountains. And another sister train is there, picking up passengers. We have some that want to go the other way as well, so that's good. We are full though, uh, but we are dropping up quite a few passengers here, around half of them, and we only get a few on board. So now we're down to 42 passengers. That's okay. That's okay. All right, continuing on. Wow, that was some hill there that those cars were so young. We might have to fix that. All right. There's a station there. Wow. There were a lot of passengers waiting there, too. All right. We are going 160 kilometers an hour. Look at those views. It's beautiful. Coming into the cool train station. A lot of people wanting to go to Olaith, I think. Not so many, many wanting to go down to Midland. We're in Topeka, dropping off a bunch of people and picking up a few more. And on we go, coming out here again with beautiful views. And now to the other side as well, gorgeous. And down to Midland we go, where we have to go through a quite long tunnel just before we get to the station. That's not that long, but... Another sister train, and quite a sharp turn here to get into the station, and there we go. And I can see Midland over here, it's quite a big town as well. And we pick up and people, maybe, when the autosave is done. Let's see how many we get when the autosave is done here. So we get 54 passengers. That's not bad. Alright, so that was a little train ride there. And we have our beautiful trams here. Uh, let's take a look at it on Topeka Circle. Cool, cool. Coming by the station, there's the train in the background. All right. I think that's so cool. Oh, there was another one. And coming into the stop here. Well, there are a few people waiting, but not that many. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. So before we start on today's construction, I figured we should take a quick look at our lines and see that everything is as it should be. 
Let's start by looking at what is losing money. Murrieta, Temecula, Commuter, not too surprised by that. But yet will food and goods, okay. A little bit surprised about that. El Paso, oil to fuel to harbor. A little bit surprised about that too. Oh, they came back in the green there. And then some logs. But let's pause for a second. It's confusing when it's moving around. Look, we have 386 tools on board and we're losing 5 million. Midland Olather, we need to rename that. I think that'll start making money. I'm very surprised about this one. Very surprised. All right, and on the plus side, we have the El Paso fuel to Marietta and uh, Santa Rosa doing very well. Joliet port oil to plastic, very nice. The Roseville coffee berries doing well. Iron ore to steel doing well. Fruit to oil. Uh, we can't. We. Ah. That's better. Transfer. Doing well. Paso. Fruit to oil shipping. Let's take a look at our ships. What ships are doing what? So, the new log ship isn't doing too well. I think we have too high capacity on it. We might want to sell one ships, one ships, one ship. Uh, the Joliet goods to El Paso isn't doing too well, but I think it'll be okay. But yet, we'll food to Joliet port is. Good. Columbia logs to planks. No, don't have that much on there. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Our rate is only 899 on these? We need it to be 1200. Uh, per station so that's fine because we have we're dropping off twice so that's 1600 so that's more than enough all right uh roads highly accrued to oil refinery it's doing very well So is the Yonkers Iron Ore and Coal. The Hylia to Sunnyvale bus service is quite, doing quite nicely. Uh, Paso Harbor Goods to El Paso. Train isn't doing too hot. Lubbock Circle. That'll, that'll pick up. They're brand new. They're brand new. The other circles are already doing okay. Where are they? Uh, so. Oh, those are trams. No, they're not already doing okay, but they will. They will. Alright, we might want to put some more on the Santa Rosa tram service and upgrade them. And the same with the Frisco tram service, upgrade that. Let's look at trains. We're making more money than we're losing on the trains, so that's good. But I'm hoping these will come back. I'm really surprised about this one. We do have a lot of capacity on it, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. All right. What's our rate actually on... Uh on this 
1120. That's too much. That's actually too much. How many trains do we have? A lot. Let's sell train. Let's actually sell two trains. So we have five on there. That should help some. How many tools do we have sitting here? 71. We're coming in with some. 153. Alright, so. They should be picking up full loads, I guess, soon. More or less, anyway. Right. Looked like it didn't have any pillars, which I wouldn't have liked. Bringing 126 pools down to Hialeah. Are there any that are gonna be for this train? I wonder. Yep, yeah, there are. And then you have 75 left to go up to the other place, which is fine. Okay. buses here okay. first of all let's upgrade this road shall we yeah uh, road streets country medium Let's get that upgraded all the way to up there. I think that's better. Was it here that they were on a really weird incline? Yeah. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But that should help some. But I'm thinking that maybe we should upgrade some of these but i just don't really want to right now because what i want to do is get to macula going up to green bay and memphis that's what i really want to do today So let's do that. Now, let's see. Sunnyvale, Minneapolis go into Green Bay. Columbia, Hialeah are going to go into Olaf. go into Greebane, I think. And then probably Des Moines, Tallahassee, and Erie go into Green Bay. So we're going to need let's see one, two, three. Four, five. Five tracks, I guess. 
think we're going to need five tracks. Yeah. I think we're going to need five tracks going into Green Bay. Now, uh, passenger. Hmm. Now, this is. I can't really do this. Because we can't put more stations on that or more tracks on that. Yes, this is the same green parking. What's that? Okay, just a parking thing. Uh, Bahnhof. Here we can put five tracks, for instance. Then we can make the platform levels. Turn it into a terminal. Roof. Waiting area. Okay. So we might use this one. Can I tell it how long it should be? Yeah. So Green Bay needs to go up, continue up to Memphis. I think I want it on this side, which means that I probably want to tear up a few of these roads first. Let's do that, and then let's do a large city street. To a medium city street. It would be nice if I could grab in the middle and pull here. Let's just try and make it straight. Yeah, that's better. All right, and let's upgrade so that these are medium city streets as well. That looks kind of nice. All right, now let's get our station in here. actually like that it's actually like that I think okay they already put that cross back in there now I want a uh, bus station it's pretty darn big uh, let's just pause for a second because I don't want you to rebuild this. Right, can we do this, I wonder? Now, is there only one stop here? Hmm. 
looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe two? Let's do a medium bus tram station instead. That'll fit right here. Actually, will it fit over here? That would be kind of cool. It will. I like that. How many terminals do you have? Two? Okay, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Alright, and I guess we'll do trams here in Green Bay. Alright, we are going straight towards that oil field, but that's fine. Then in Memphis. Do we have anything coming into Memphis? I don't think so. Uh, so I think I want this over here and we just need two platforms. Actually, really want it back there, don't I? In the center of town. Um, an elevated station of some sort. What does this one look like? What's this one? Wow, that's a long platform. Can I adjust that? 320. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, only one track. I see two tracks there. Okay. Uh, bridge track? No. No. We'll do that. And then we want... High speed with catenaries. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Leaf style. That looks cool. That looks cool. You already kind of have that. That looks pretty cool too. I really like this one. Yeah. Alright. Might not get this entirely done today. But that's okay. Alright, so... Let's see what the heck is going on. I think it's this way that I want to come. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Yeah, rotate it a bit. So it isn't saying. Okay, the sink isn't there. I 
I do have a let's see how many I have three entrances right yeah three entrances and I I'll go with stand, standard, 60 meters apart. And then we'll go with this. Can I elevate how high it's up? Yeah. Let's take it up to 18 meters. It's in. Right, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, why did I put four tracks in there? Don't I just need two? Did I put four tracks in there? Oh, there's a bypass in the middle. Okay. Do I want that, though? I don't actually think so. Bypassing tracks. All right, let's do this again. Where the hell am I? Right, it's down here that I want it. I want it. up here uh, tracks but we do have catenaries here right yes we do all right my speed with catenaries and we kind of want to I think we want to come out and around this way We can. Can we go? Uh, I don't want to go that way. All right, let's just make it until here. What bridge? Are we using over there? We're using that one. Which one is that? No. No. It's this. No, it's not that one. Certainly not that one. That one? No, no. No.
No. What the hell? Not any of these. One of these? No. Okay. No. No. I kind of want it to be the same bridge at each end here, right? Because otherwise it just looks weird. I wonder what the heck bridge it is, though. None of this. It's none of that. It's that one. That one. What's your bridge pillar colliding with? I don't see it colliding with anything. Do you see it colliding with anything? Right, you know what? Let's bulldoze that road for a second. Oh, it wasn't that one, it was that one. Bridge pillar collision. What the hell is it colliding with? Seriously, what are we colliding with here? Well, let's try this then. We'll put the road back in afterwards. Okay, we can get out here now. Let's do that. Like that. And then let's put some streets back in here. Auto save. It's a shame this, I don't really like that, but... It is what it is. I, I really have liked to use both ends, but we're sticking with it in this one. Uh, up here though... We have them in the middle, which is nice, because then we can make a crossover. Good. Alright. Tracks. Speed. And it will come out something like this and try and go around this a little bit. We want a tunnel? I suppose we could. We're coming out. We are coming out. There's just a little tunnel there. I'm okay with that. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Oof, this terrain up here. This will come into the two middle ones. Yeah. Wow, we have 544 million. See what it does if we just do this. Nothing good. Let's bulldoze this for a second. Okay. Let's bulldoze that bit. Let's smooth. Looks a little bit nicer. Okay. And then we can open this up again. Jesus. Look at that bump. Why is it doing that? Let's try that instead. That's better. That's such a big bump. Alright. So, so far so good. Then we just need to get up to Memphis. But we're going to have to do that in the next one because we are running out of time. We have a lot of people here in Tunicula. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Because I really want to just check on Midland. 39 passengers waiting. 359 passengers waiting to go to Lubbock. Holy crap. 211 passengers going to Olaith. And here we have 200 being Muriata. Uh, this one we really need to. Like that. Uh, 3 via Provo, 200 via Muriata. Uh, oh, we need. Oh. Fine, and then Midland Olaith. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a Pro World Computer. 500. A lot of people wanting to go to Olaith. No one really wanting to go to Provo. It is a tiny little town. I have 245, it's not small. It is small, but not that small. Bigger than Frisco. Murrieta is actually getting uh, goods, right? Yeah. Not that many, but it is getting goods. And it's certainly not for the lack of plastic that we're not producing that many goods. It's for the lack of steel. Look at that. We're only bringing half a train of steel, really. Because... 
Well, you're producing five, six hundred. You're producing twelve hundred. Uh, don't we have a? Well, we could do with it a little bit more capacity, actually. And down here, we're producing twelve hundred. And these trains are fine for that. So a little bit more coal there, but basically, 1,200 is only six of each of those, is only 600 steel. So we need to get more coal, and we need to get more iron going down here. So there's coal there. There's iron there. We might do something like that. Try to get iron going over here somehow across these three rail lines. That might not be easy. And then get coal going down from up here. That isn't too hard. It's just a track. But it's something that we'll have to worry about later. Right now we are building to Machula, to Green Bay, to Memphis. And we'll continue doing that in the next one because we are out of time. Uh, we are making 50 million, 76 million. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, that's because we refunded something, I guess. What the hell did we refund there? I don't know. Oh, we sold a couple of trains. We sold a couple of trains, that's why. 53 million. That's pretty darn good. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.